Hello, I'm Michael Schuster, Trinity County News, and we're here with JoLynn Wars, and so I'm just going to let her introduce herself. I'm JoLynn Wars. I work at the 911 Addressing Office in Groveton at 219 West 1st Street. Um, I've been here for two and a half years, and we're just trying to get Trinity and Groveton and the entire county of Trinity County addressed properly and make sure that people have their numbers posted in a visible place for first responders to be able to find them in a timely manner. So there's been a lot of confusion with numbers. I know we had a place on North Rob that had two different addresses, the, the electric company and, and uh, the street number. And so y'all are trying to uh, relieve this confusion. I know that there was an accident, the truck drove into the water, and because the numbers are mixed up, uh, the first responders went to the wrong place first. So y'all trying to straighten mm -hmm. this out. So what, what do you, where have y'all been working? Well, I work, um, I've worked in Westwood Shores a lot. Uh, right now I'm uh, concentrating on South Rob Street in Trinity. It's being readdressed from North Main Street all the way to the city limit sign. So if you're in that area, I did go out and visit with everybody on the street that would talk to me and told them what was coming. So expect that change. But we just encourage you, if I do send you a letter from the judge's office, his signature will be on it as well as mine, that your address has changed, I would encourage you to please post the numbers that we have assigned you so that you're still in numerical order and the first responders will be able to find you quickly. Okay, so this is important for emergencies. And Yes. And so for fire department, mm -hmm. police department, so Ambulance. forth. Uh, now, Life alert. Life alert. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I know that you recommend they call you before they post numbers just because there's so much confusion over it. Yes. Um, a lot of what I'm hearing when I contact people in the public is um, that, well, my number's been that for 40 years. You know, why is it changing? Well, I have to explain to them, you know, when the addresses went from rural routes to a 911 physical address when 911 happened, you know, that was the push to do that. So a lot of people are still using old numbers and they just refuse to get right with what we're trying to get them to do in order for them to be in a safe place. Okay, so uh, this, is, this is mandated. They're not doing this just, just to aggravate everybody, but it's mandated that you need to do this. Right. So, uh, uh, Joe Lynn is is very patient. If you if you're confused, please call because she will help you out. And she uh, if there's a mistake, uh, she can help you straighten it out. And it, this is important because if we can keep it organized, even if one person on on the block or every other person has their numbers out, they can they can calculate where the where another number is so mm -hmm. it, even if you're the first one to do it it's important to do it right and I also get some um, state data error reports from debt cog each month that lets me know if a house has a landline phone in it and I do not have their structure point on my map I'm supposed to add that point make sure I know who it is what their address is and their phone number and everything put that in my attribute table and it also will tell me if house numbers are not in the right range of a road if it's 100 to 200 and you're a 400 sitting in that range you're in the wrong place your numbers are wrong or you need to move to the 400 block okay so how can they contact you? Uh, you can call me at the office at 936 642 3904. I'm the only one in the office, so if I don't answer, I may be on the phone or helping someone that's walked in my door, so please leave a message and I will call you back. Or you can email me at 911map at co.trinity.tx.us. Okay, and we'll put these up on the on the uh, screen for them if, if we, I got, I'll get the card from you and we'll put it up. Uh, this is something that the whole county's doing. They're not picking on anyone in particular. Uh, it's important that you follow up on this because if you ever call for police or first responders, they need these numbers. They they operate off of these numbers, and and uh, even though they you say well they they've been here for 30 years, it doesn't matter because some of these responders use GPS and the GPS is set up on these 911 numbers and. Uh, so I thank you so much. I know that you've had people complain to you and you've been very patient with them. 
uh, you would rather they call than, than put up the wrong number. Yes, we just ask that you know your correct number. You can call me and verify that. Know it and post it and make sure it's a visible, about four inch reflective letters or numbers and where the first responders can see it coming from either way. And if you live 200 yards off of the road, then put your driveway marker at the end of your driveway or on your mailbox if you have a mail mailbox. Okay. Thank you, Jolene. Thank God you. Bless you. Thank you.